Hello, welcome back to more Let's Play Clock Tower 3. In the previous episode, we were teleported back to 1942 London, um, where we promptly saw a girl get bodied <laughs> by the monster. The <laughs> and uh, we ran away from him for a hot minute, managed to shake him, then decided, oh yeah, we should refill on holy water. And he was up at the holy water blocking us like a dick. So without further ado, get out of here! It's someone, someone that big uh, can move that quickly. Yeah, no, he is extremely fast. I don't get it. He's definitely faster than than the main character, Alyssa. I think it breaks expectations. As far as I can tell, there's no like, oh, hold something to run faster button. Like this, this is just the speed. Well, obviously, it prioritizes hiding over running. Right, right, right. But I was thinking I was, like, missing something. Like, oh, maybe I can run faster if I do this. Or, no, he is just that fast, and I am just this slow. He seemed pretty angry about that. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Got him. <laughs> I'm gonna juke him again once I get up here. God! Yeah, why didn't that little girl just do this? Easy. <laughs> Easy clap. Easy clap. She would have been the main character if she only knew to walk around him. You think this will work twice? Guess so. Later. <laughs> Later, Gator. Is, is he sniffing me? What's up with all these games with the sniffing sound effects? One of the main sentences. You don't smell like you're from here. Oh, he's still going. Well, now he's gone. Yeah, it's safe now. I should hide just in case. No, definitely premonition is definitely one I want to get back to. Uh, it also, I, I say recently got a sequel, um, but it, it did definitely get a sequel that I, I haven't had a chance to try yet. I was enjoying it's what I decent, did. Right? Yeah, I heard it was decent. And Deadly Premonition oh, won from oh, what I played. That only came out, like, a couple of years this ago. Year. No, it was a couple years ago, wasn't it? Oh. Like, I thought yeah, it was in 2020. Four years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Time sure does move. Doesn't it, though? Desk is cleaned and well organized. That's a fireplace. That's a key. This must be the owner of the house. Hmm, there's a key next to it. Red drawer key, so it goes to that desk downstairs. There. Oh, well, he definitely knows I'm here. This record looks quite old. More than enough books here is on the classics. I'll definitely give the game that. Uh, as I'm opening up these doors and stuff, I am definitely pausing for a moment every single time the camera goes back behind me. So that uh, I'll give the game props on that. It keeps feeling like, oh geez, here it is. Um, 
Also, you get around to playing uh, Fatal Frame 4 now that it's released on Steam. I've got an official Fatal Frame 4 translation. And, woo boy, I can't believe uh, we haven't gotten around to playing it yet. In fact, I haven't bought it yet. I think I own the fifth one. One of the drawers is locked. Red door key? Yes. What do we got? Maze room key. That'll also help. I believe that one was just up here. This is where we saw her get absolutely bodied. There is a diary. I should read it. 5th of December. Today, I darned Daddy's socks and sew sewed a button on his shirt. Uh, he calls himself a tailor, but he can't even mend his own clothes. Please, Daddy, I'm not your wife. 15th of December. Only a few more days until the Conquerors, and I still can't play it perfectly. What am I to do? I know Daddy is wishing me well from far away, so I must try my very best. Don't worry, Daddy. I'll make you proud. Poor, poor, poor thing. I still question how we were able to read a newspaper about her death and then it happened right in front of us. However, I also firmly believe that that didn't happen. And that we were just seeing like a flashback. But the monster is definitely real as it is trying to murder us. It's a small child's bed. Well, it knows how ghosts work, honestly. Yeah. Invitation. We already know ghosts can attack you, so. Yeah. Why not? Flashback monster. That knows your name. That knows your name. Escape route's been blocked. What do I do? I should grab this chair. Okay, you grab the chair. Get bodied! Is that it, huh? There's blood everywhere. Alright, I'm, I'm gone. And a giant monster. Yeah, we probably should leave before he gets up. Dance back up. Yeah, my man is fucking speed on acid, so uh, I think I'll just leave. There was only one other door that I couldn't get through, and that one required a tool that I do not have. Oh, well. That was short-lived. Well, I don't imagine knocking him over was going to end him. It's like a slight push. Well, I guess I'll run back to the save point. Well, at least get another save in real quick. Um, as far as where I'm supposed to go next, I'd imagine the only place that I haven't gone is across that bridge. So we'll try that next. What do you think of this music? Better than Ring. Agreed. Yeah, at the very least, uh, the music changes every few minutes. And so far, the only, like, six-note song has been the chase theme. Yeah, I was really enjoying the piano. Yeah. If only this fuck would leave us alone so that we could listen to it some more. How dare the sledgehammer serial killer chase us with the sledgehammer? Yeah, dude. I want to hear the piano music and you're in here causing battle themes to start. Oh, that's a pole. Oh, there goes my, <laughs> my uh, running lead. 
Oh, well that was the camera angle change in that. Oh, he actually finally got a hit on me. Yeah, despite the fact that he's not been hitting me, my panic still goes up. But if he hits me, then I get stunned for a second. Oh, there was another save right here. You're kidding me. These things do happen, I suppose. Well, I'm gonna save down here. The promenade. Anything over this way? This way. I have to admit, this guy's not really spooky anymore. Alright, one more loop. If I do more than one, does it do extra damage? No. I'm gonna try going this way. Oh. He's just gone now, I guess. Hey, we got the piano music back. Enjoy it while it lasts. Oh, I will. Hopefully for five seconds. Yeah, we've probably not seen the last of Muscles McGee over there. What's this? Oh. That's definitely relevant, right? Like, the can definitely giving away my position. I just don't think we've, uh... Do you think there's more than one monster in this area? Well, we saw the ghost. Well, That's technically a monster. Okay, yeah, fair. I was meaning as in, like, one that I could hide from. Like, uh, hammer. A leaflet. Christmas Eve, 1942, 15th Annual Piano Conquers. Because I assume this is giving away my position if I run into that. And that would only be relevant for someone like that who's trying to hunt me down. Oh, well, I guess, yeah, it would be the guy playing the piano, wouldn't it? He would be the, the second chaser. Butter moth? That's a moth, not a butterfly. Oh well, we're trapped in here now, so never mind. Those cans were completely irrelevant, and I wasted my time thinking about them. Concert Hall Floor 1. Cloakroom lockers with combination locks. One of them is locked. Well, I suppose if I learn a combination, I will come back. <laughs> Seems to be off limits. This probably just loops. Yeah, it figures. Is that a Devil May Cry poster? I can't tell. It's Capcom, so it could be. Capcom's the one who did Devil May Cry, yeah? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Requires a special key. 
got very silent all of a sudden. And no one was there. Well, it would have messed with me even worse if it was the sledgehammer guy. <laughs> You're right. It, it actually would. Someone spilled ketchup all over my brand new piano. <laughs> Dad would be furious. Not the ketchup. Not the ketchup. Oh. Oh, no wonder she, her corpse wasn't there. She's fine. Just playing she's the piano. Fine. She's playing. She's got a splitting headache. I, I don't blame her for not... Is there a ghost behind us? No, that's just the girl's shadow question mark. Which is also behind her. Which is also behind Facing her. Facing the opposite direction. Weird camera effect. Yeah, that's extremely weird. Oh, there he is. Oh, okay. She just no clipped on out of here. Quick, play the piano. You're right. Get him. You're right. The piano is dripping with blood. Oh, I didn't play it. But, from what I noticed, I can totally crawl underneath the piano. <laughs> which I find hilarious. You can't get me. You can't get me. You can't get me. <laughs> oh. Boiled by the most... Oh, no! So that being said, you uh, should try to kick him. Yeah, he was. Oh, he there's a there giant is a back hammer. Room. His move was to kick you. What's this? Raise and lower stage devices. Move it. Yeah, why not? I'm glad they have a lever for that. Blood is a stage device. Wait. It's a sign with a warning on it. Keep stage devices raised at all times. Management. Oh, no wonder he fell off. I guess that's management. Torso has been crushed. What a horrible death. He is holding on to a note. Safe combination is bad. 1014 equal babe. 34003 equals dead. So the safe combination must be one zero three. One zero three. Three. Yeah, probably. Because it's bad. Yeah, one zero one four. One zero three. Yeah. Wait, I'm just gonna run around this corner. He's gonna immediately be there. Eh? There he is. Let's say, where the fuck do you go? Because he's not chasing me right now. But there he is. I think he had lost me for a second because I had gone into a cutscene. Yeah, he did lose me for a second there. Yeah, then I'll get him. I thought it might, but then I second-guessed myself. So it was one, zero, three. I assume. Yeah. Which gets the master key. Yeah, that was a good puzzle. I like that puzzle. I like that puzzle. Bye. And then from here, I try and go through that door. Wait, did he just give up? The music stopped. This guy is so confusing, I swear. 
Are you complaining that he's not currently murdering you? No. Just... <laughs> I guess he was ambushing you. He That's was waiting to ambush me. That makes sense. The... It's not that he gave up. It's that even the music is conspiring against you. Just no. He got me, when though. She's full... Panic yeah. mode. Oh. She flails. She's in full panic mode. She looks like she belongs in Luigi's mansion. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me? Yeah, evidently, this uh, serial killer guy, he might be smarter than he looks. Dude, I thought he was an idiot. <laughs> okay, I turned a corner. Just Apparently, you know. he uh, doesn't have object permanence. Alyssa, where are you? Maybe he's just doing that to psych you out. Maybe he is, huh? See, because that's how he was able to ambush you. Yeah, you got me there. I sure hope this doesn't lead to a dead end. That would be unfortunate. Oh. But he has the master key, so I imagine it's fine. Yeah, you should hide in that locker. You're right, I should hide in that locker. Now, while well, he's blinded. You know, I'm sure that actually would work. Upstairs we go, then. Locked and over here. Locked on the other side. I wonder who invented this instrument anyway. All right, Logan, who invented the harp? Who invented the harp? Yep. I'm sure we have a very solid record saying specifically who invented the harp. Matches. The hell do I need matches for? It's a lovely piano. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. We have no record on who invented the harp. That is a damn shame in that. Unless you're asking about like specific types of harps that came later. Nah, I was just talking about harps in general. But the actual first harp? I mean, harps have been found in multiple different ancient civilizations, so it's hard to pin down. And we definitely don't know who in that ancient civilization specifically invented it. Right. It's like asking who invented the fishing net. Well, I think he outsmarted you this time. Outplayed. Also, I thought if you got attacked while you're in panic mode that you died. Yep, there it goes. And so you do. And so you do. Well, that is just a damn shame. First game over. Outsmarted and outplayed. Yeah. This guy is relentless. And he's just so fast. Like, Jesus. How far back was this? A while ago. Yeah, I think this is when I first entered the, the area. Yeah, you didn't save afterwards. Yeah, that's fair, because I was being chased. Turns out you were the one who was playing Dead by Daylight. Single player edition. <laughs> yeah, looks like it. Feels like it. This guy's the next uh, Dead by Daylight uh, person confirmed. 
killer. Petitioning for Clock Tower uh, Dead by Daylight DLC. Uh, honestly, he already almost looks like the Trapper. I want the killer to be Scissorman. Agreed. And I want I Jennifer be to be the survivor. I should raise this back up. Do you think if the killer were standing right here and I lowered that, it would smack him? I would like to see us, but this guy does not seem to care much for natural conventions. He doesn't seem to care all too much about cutscenes, which that definitely is. So I think if uh, I did do it, he would just teleport back out into the main room. Yeah, he just teleports back out of the hallway. Which begs the reason why is that able to be moved up and down? You know, there's probably is a purpose, so I am gonna go ahead and move it up, I think. Otherwise, I'll probably get upstairs and then be like, oh, you didn't raise the lever and then die again. You know what I mean? Oh, I know what you mean. This is dead. That is a hundred percent something this game would do. Well, I suppose... Well, I have to go all the way back anyway. That's fair. I was about to say, I suppose I can go save. And this time, I totally won't get caught off guard when he inevitably tries to jump scare me again uh, when I go through the master key door. Oh yeah, that's right. It wasn't this door. Oh yeah, I never tried going through this area. What's up here? Doesn't seem anything strange here. Lavender wool. Keeps going up. I was right. Look at me go. Look at you go. The lantern is not lit, which is why we need the matches. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I was doing the part of the puzzle before I knew it was a puzzle. You're mine now. Am I? Am I? Get out of my face, you punk ass. I'm out. Because the music stopped, that means he's definitely had time to teleport over to the other door where he's supposed to jump scare me. This one. I'm so- there he is. He actually got me twice with the same damn thing. You motherfucker. <laughs> 
You motherfucker. Oh. Oh, and I can't use triangle. Not while you're panicking. I can't use triangle while panicking. We're gonna have to juke him. Do you really think this will work? Not when you're that slow. You're right. Definitely had time to wear off. Yeah. I would say just try and make it through the door. Well. You pointed she, in the wrong uh, direction. Well, I was trying to look towards the. Uh... Oh, wait. I imagine it auto aim. Yeah, it does auto aim. Um. We don't have, like, a fountain or anything to restore it, though. Oh, I imagine there's gotta be something. There's gotta be something. Well, now I'm trapped, so it doesn't matter. Oh, there we go. There it is. There it is. Imagine there's gotta be something. They, they wouldn't soft lock here. I'd imagine it'd be around the save somewhere. Yeah, I'd imagine it's somewhere like the lobby, right? And this is locked. Oh, it requires the special key, which I have now, so I can go back outside and go to that fountain. Cool. Okay. Watch out for those cans. Still chasing me. Alright, well it has been another 30 minutes, so I'll go ahead and rebuild. Save. And. Call this episode to a close. Fair enough. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next episode where hopefully we can get the matches and light that lantern. Don't know why we're trying to do that, but we're doing it. So, see you all then.